Everyone, this is Fisher Coder here. Today is Thanksgiving holiday of 2019. So happy Thanksgiving to everybody out, out there still watching uh, lead code, still uh, practicing lead code interviews. Happy holiday, happy Thanksgiving. Um, and also, I really would encourage you to hit the like button of this video and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we continue to publish more YouTube contents to walk you through lead code preparation for interviews. And also, I really appreciate um, Happy Thanksgiving. Appreciate it for subscribing. Today we're going to go through problem 1099. It's called two sum less than K. It's labeled as easy, which it's truly easy and very straightforward. And we'll go through two solutions to walk through this problem. The problem of this question is given an array A of integers and another integer K, return the maximum S such that there were there exists i less than j with a j a i plus a j equals to s and s is smaller than k if there is no such i and j exists satisfying this equation <coughs> excuse me we're just going to return minus one the example here is given this array and k is equal to 60 and we can return 58 which is the largest sum that we can find which is summed up by two elements in this given array that is still less than k, right? That is 34 and 24, which sums up to 58, which is still less than 60. We cannot find any other two elements which add up to a number that is still less than 60. Um, very straightforward. Second example is given this array, which has three elements, 10, 20, and 30, we cannot find any two elements in this given array that could sum up to a number that is still smaller than the k, which is 15. So in this case, we're going to return minus 1. A very straightforward question. Um, the, there are two approaches to this problem. Of course, there is, a, there is pros and cons for each one of them. Since um, the a very first one that people could think of is to, since this array is just a, it's, it's unsorted and Probably we don't even need to sort it, but um, we'll, we'll analyze that in the in a minute. If we don't sort this array, we'll just go through, uh, we'll have a nasty for loop, basically to check every single, every single possible pair of this unsorted array to see if any of the two elements in this given array that would, would sum up to a number that is still, that is still smaller than k, which means we'll have one for loop, which checks every single element, one, two, three, four, until the very last second element, because we'll have another inner for loop, which is going to starting from the second element after the first for loop until the very last element, right? We'll compare every possible combination pairs. Then we'll see which one is going to give us the largest sum, the largest sum that is still smaller than k. The time complexity for that one, for this one, we don't need to sort it, but the time complexity is actually going to be larger, which is going to be n square, right? Uh, we can quickly put that into, um, into code. But before we put that into code, I just want to uh, quickly mention that there is another alternative approach compare, in comparison to the first approach. Uh, it actually saves us some time if the n is much larger. It's going to be n log n if we just use a built-in sorting algorithm, for example, quick sort in Java is going to be a we. So the idea, the algorithm for the second approach is basically to sort this given array first. So after sorting this array, every element in this array is sorted. It's going to be from small to larger. And then we can use two pointers. One pointer starting from the very left end, the other pointer starting from the very right end. Then we keep moving these two point pointers toward the middle of this array. Then while we're moving these two pointers, we keep calculating the sum of these two, the two elements pointed by these two arrays. Then we know at which point we move which pointer. Actually, this, this algorithm is going to render as O n log n time. So it's going to save us some time in the worst case. So now let's start uh, writing the code. We'll write code for both algorithms, and then you'll c compare, you can see. So now let's start, start writing code for the very first algorithm, which is 
which is basically we don't start it. We're just going to use two nested for loop. So say uh, first we're going to use a max. We'll call the result as max. Sum. First we'll initialize it to be the max, the min possible min, uh, minimum value in Java as an integer. And then we'll you'll see that in a minute why. We'll have the first for loop, which starts from 0, index 0, goes all the way to the last second, as I just said. Why? Because the, we'll have another for loop, which starts from the second one, which is i plus 1. And then this one will go all the way to the very last element. So. So we can always have a pair. We have two indices to check the two elements in this given array. Now we'll have another variable called sum, new sum. Let's call it new sum, which is the sum that we are calculating on the fly. Then based on the problem description, if new sum is smaller than k and new sum is greater than the current max sum, then we can just uh, say we find a new sum. That's cool. The max sum is going to be new sum. Else, if, if we find that this new sum is actually bigger than k, which means it's useless, it's not something that we, we want to return in the result. In that case, we'll, mm, let's see. OK, I'm kind of mixed up for the two algorithm. In okay, that's what we got. In this case, in in this, uh, otherwise we'll just continue moving forward until the very end. We're going to check. We can just return if. Let me copy this. If maxim equals still equals to this, that means we didn't find anything. We we'll just return minus one as the problem requires. Otherwise, we're going to return max sum, which means we find the mass, max possible sum that could add up to a number that is smaller, still smaller than k. Let's double check and go through this problem again. Yeah, it looks good to me. Let's try to hit submit. All right, it's, uh, it's accepted. But you see, the time, the runtime is two milliseconds, which is faster than only a quarter of all of the Java online submissions, which is not super ideal, right? We'll go through this problem, and this is the one of the first, uh, one of the two uh, algorithm, two solutions, which is which is giving us, let's see, which is time is o n square. This is the time complexity, which is not super ideal. Right, you see, we're beating only um, a little bit more than a quarter of all on online Java submissions. So let's try another one. So I'm pretty sure there are some very long, where n is very large uh, test cases for this problem. So which uh, gives me not very good performance for this algorithm. So let's start writing code for the second algorithm, which is going to give us. Let's see. Time complexity is going to be time complexity is going to be O n log n. So first, uh, um, we're going just going to sort as we said. We're going to sort this algorithm, this given array first, and then similarly, we're going to keep that's th this is the max time consumption for this entire algorithm. It's the upper bound, the worst case. So it's the entire algorithm time complexity is just going to be O n log n. And then we'll have another one here, main value. This is very similar to the previous um, solution. And then now let's have two pointers. It's not a nested for loop. It's just going to be one single while loop. Two pointers, left and right. While left smaller than right. While is a typo int new sum equals a left 
plus a right will get the new sum. So we'll check if this logic is very similar, this one if branch smaller than k and the new sum is greater than max sum. In this case, we're happy that we find a new one, a, mac, a bigger one, which we're going to assign to the max sum. Else, the other, there are two other possible cases for, in this case, the new sum calculation. New sum could be bigger than or equal to k. In both of these cases, either it's greater than k or equal to k. This is not something that we're happy with, which doesn't meet the problem description. So we're just going to decrease the right pointer because you see after we sort this array, all of, these, uh, all of the elements in the given array is in sorted order. So all of the bigger elements are on the right end. So in this case, the new sum is bigger than k. So we'll decrease the right index so that we can find a possibly smaller sum. The only other case is new sum is smaller than k. In that case, we're just going to increase the right index so that we can try to gradually find a, small, a, a bigger uh, new sum so that is still less than k. With all of that done, we're happy. And uh, so say max we'll do the same check again. If max sum equals to max integer, that means we didn't find anything. So we just return minus one. Otherwise, we'll just return max sum. All right, um, that's it. We'll just uh, give it a shot, submit. Accept it. So this time, runtime complexity is one millisecond and, and it's faster than 100% of all online Java submissions which I'm super happy. You can see the, um, a small trick. Uh, it's not really that small, actually. It's, um, it matters a lot from O n square to O n log n. That's a big jump in terms, of time in terms of time complexity, especially when n is very huge, which is usually the case in industry, right? Like say, how many items are there in Amazon, or how many search queries are there performing, being performed every single minute or every single second on Google search engine, right? So when you get asked for such a simple, straightforward question, uh, make sure that you can walk through, you can talk very clearly with your interviewer the pros and cons of each algorithm and why you pick any one of them. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you do, please don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we continue to publish new good YouTube um, lead code algorithms content almost on a single daily basis. So don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys next time.